a former WWE champion who currently wrestles for AEW is rumored to return to WWE in the very near future. Dean Ambrose, who now wrestles under the name John Moxley in AEW, is looking to get out of his AEW contract. Ambrose, who left WWE in early 2019 and later said in interviews that he was upset about the amount of shows that he had to work every single year. But now that WWE only does TV shows and pay-per-views, Dean has decided that now is the best time to return to WWE and get a big money contract for only part-time work. The main reason why Dean Ambrose wants to leave AEW is because he wants to become a part-time wrestler who works around 20 shows per year. And because AEW is still a growing company, they have refused to agree to those terms. But WWE has agreed to those terms because WWE is desperate for big names in their company right now. This comes as a big shock to fans because of the fact that there are now rumors that Dean Ambrose's wife, Renee Young, has asked for her release from WWE, but she is not leaving WWE to join AEW. The real reason why she's leaving WWE is because she wants to get pregnant and have a baby with her husband, Dean Ambrose, and she no longer wants to appear on any television shows at all. Dean will also be dropping the name John Moxley when he does return to WWE, and he will go back to being known as Dean Ambrose. Vince McMahon has been focused on keeping WWE on the air during turbulent times around the world, and always having brand new episodes of both Raw and SmackDown every single week. But because these shows were severely altered due to the worldwide situation, Many viewers stopped watching, and TV ratings are down 36% over the past year. But Vince McMahon is not upset about the lack of interest in WWE or the falling TV ratings. Instead, a new report suggests that Vince McMahon believes that by the end of 2020, interest and TV ratings for WWE will skyrocket and go back to the way they were, or even higher, prior to the beginning of the worldwide situation. He believes this because WWE is making tons of new changes, including having storylines that will draw more fan interest, and overhauling Raw and SmackDown, including having both shows coming from a big arena and using the new Thunderdome set that includes virtual fans in attendance. For Vince McMahon, he believes the best months for WWE are yet to come. On a recent episode of Monday Night Raw, fans were shocked when Randy Orton punt kicked Shawn Michaels, but fans were even more shocked when the kick made Shawn Michaels' hat fly off and it revealed that he is severely balding. When Shawn wrestled in a tag match in 2018 with Triple H, he had a shaved head, so fans did not really notice how bald Shawn actually is. Fast forward to now, and Shawn Michaels now has longer hair, and we can now see just how much hair he has actually lost. In recent years, Shawn usually wore a hat of some kind when making WWE appearances so he could hide his baldness. But now, there is no hiding just how bald Shawn Michaels has become. WWE Payback 2020 takes place on August 30th, and the pay-per-view has several big matches that are rumored to take place, and one of those matches will have the in-ring debut of Retribution. WWE superstars are fed up with Retribution attacking WWE out of nowhere on Raw and SmackDown, and this will lead to Retribution facing multiple WWE superstars in a 10-person tag match that will feature five men and women members of Retribution who will wear masks, and they will face five WWE male and female superstars. The five WWE wrestlers that Retribution will face are rumored to be Big E, The Miz, John Morrison, Naomi, and Dana Brooke. Another match that is already set to take place is Sasha Banks and Bayley defending their women's tag team championships. 
but their opponents have yet to be announced. It's being rumored that Shayna Baszler and Asuka will be facing Bayley and Sasha, and the plan is to have Shayna and Asuka win the Women's Tag Team Championships. Payback will also feature rematches from SummerSlam, including the WWE Championship match and the Universal title match. Becky Lynch will soon give birth to her and Seth Rollins' baby. The current due date for their baby is December 2020. But now, there are new reports that suggest that Becky Lynch is very scared. Becky Lynch has always been open and honest with fans, and she would post on social media almost every day and interact with her fans. But since she became pregnant, Becky has gone silent on social media, as it seems that Becky has gone into hiding, and her fiancé Seth Rollins confirmed this when during a live stream with fans, there was a very serious and intense moment when Seth told viewers the following, I won't say this again. I'm not here to talk about my baby. If you want to talk about that, you can go somewhere else. I'm not going to talk about my kids or personal life, so don't worry about that. Please, it's not your business, unless I choose to make it your business, which I don't. Seth then went on to say, and don't worry about Becky. She's here, but she doesn't want to be on camera, and she is hiding from you all. And that is what Seth told his viewers during his live stream. But now it's been revealed that all of this secrecy is happening because Becky simply wants to be left alone by fans until after she gives birth. And brand new late-breaking reports point to another reason why Becky is currently so private about her pregnancy. With the recent shocking news that a man was stalking Sonya Deville and even broke into her house, Becky is now scared for her safety, and she is taking extreme measures to protect herself and her unborn baby. And hopefully fans will realize that Becky is simply doing what any loving and caring mother would do for their baby, as Becky and Seth simply try to keep their personal life private, and they look forward to the day when they can once again reconnect with fans in person. What do you think about Dean Ambrose leaving AEW and returning to WWE? And the news that Becky Lynch is hiding from fans and is currently scared for her safety? Leave a comment and give me your opinion. Don't forget to subscribe and be sure to click the bell notification so you are notified when we release our next video.